If whenever you are seeing other creators Notion workspace and you think, wow, how they have come up with so beautiful designs, mine look like crap. I felt that, I've been there. But in this video, I'm going to give you 17 tips to improve your designs in Notion. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniel. I'm founder of the Notion Academy. And on this channel, we use Notion and other tools and strategies to free up our time and gain control of our lives. Now, by the way, I'm gonna keep the most hacky design tick for the end of this video so you don't feel scared because most of the tips, in fact, 16 of them, are very easy to implement. And also, as a disclaimer, I'm not a design expert. I don't have any background in design. Everything that I've learned, I have learned from other creators and I have stolen them and implemented into my own workspace. Okay, so let's get into it. The first tip is going to be some different designs that we can apply to our titles. So title design. So the first one is this one over here that I'm using in my Daniel HQ page that is basically just using this symbol and then the name of the title and the same symbol again. And this title is white and the rest is whatever color we want to choose. I'm also putting a space in between. Okay, so it's a little bit more spacious. Now, the next kind of title that I'm going to show you is this one in which I'm just using capital letters. I'm using some color and I'm also using one space in between each of the letters. I think this is best when it's like a, an H3 kind of title, because if not for me, in my opinion, it's a little bit too big. And finally, the last kind of title that I want to show you is this one in which the background and the color of the letters is the same. I'm using this in my, in my habits page and I really like how it looks. Now, the next step is going to be to match the color of the images with the titles. Let me explain. Here in my HQ page, we can see that this image is mainly orange. So I have matched it with this orange color. The same with the blue, the same with the pink and the same with the brown. So whenever you are using images on top of titles, as I'm doing here, try to match the color of the title to the image. The next one will be to highlight some of the words within a title with a certain color instead of the whole title. For example, here in my focus page, we can see that I have highlighted here today. And if I go down, you see that everything is highlighted, the most important words. And I think this gives a lot of style to a page and is very, very easy to do. The next tip is going to be to use emojis at the beginning of each of the titles. If you have been following me for a little while, you already know that I like to use emojis for almost everything because it makes me feel good, okay? So in this page, we can see how I'm using emojis for all my titles. And I think they're even cooler because I'm using here H1 headings. So they are even bigger and they can help me to understand what's within the title without even reading it. The next tip is going to be to use big titles. And with big titles, I don't mean heading one. I mean really big titles. Here we can see these titles that I have created that occupy three lines of text. And the way to do them is basically to be here and holding the shift key, we can press in the enter button and we can add a new line and then we will just add the title heading one heading two whatever we want and an extra line break then we will just have to color the background over here and that's it and we have a big good looking title the next tip will be to match the background color of a toggle for example with the title color here we are back to the knowledge review page and this is something I didn't say before. We can see how all the titles match with the color of the background of each of the toggles. This is very useful when within one page, we want to create a workflow, a step-by-step -step workflow that goes from step one to step two to three and, and so on. So just with the colors, we can know which step it is. The next tip is going to be to use emojis in select properties. Here we have my media vault, which is what I use to capture all the articles that I want to read. And we can see that in the statuses, I have emojis. 
So in fact, just by looking at the emoji, I can already know which is the status. And honestly, I think it's much more stylish than just having text. The next tip is going to be to use toggles for those pages that have a lot of information. Here we can have an example from the Part-Time YouTuber Academy Inner Circle that all the lessons that we are covering, I put within a toggle. And like this, I can have a very minimalistic view of the page itself. The next one will be to create text formulas. So instead of using a manual select property, whenever we want to display the status of something automatically, it is good to use a formula with text in it. And even better when we can put some emoji within it. So here in my CRM, that by the way, you can find as a template in the description of this video, we can see how this status is showing me whether we are still friends or I better reach out to some of these people and I'm using an emoji. And as you can see, this gives some color to this view and I find it much more eye-pleasing. The next one will be to use the gallery view with beautiful images. As an example here, I have my branding page in which I have put all the branding colors and fonts that I'm using for the Notion Academy business. So as you can see, this is much more beautiful than just seeing it in a table page and brings a little bit more life to this page. The next one will be to create themed pages. And what do I mean by this? Here I have the wall of love, this page that I use to put all the important moments that I've had in my Notion business. And you can see how the background is blue, how this emoji is blue, how this is blue, and why did I choose blue? Because here I'm embedding tweets and the tweets normally are also blue. Here is also blue. So almost everything in this page is blue. The next one will be to use simple cover images. But again, I'm a little bit of a minimalist. I like like very simple aesthetics. So I have downloaded a pack of backgrounds that really match how Notion feels. You can see here in my plan page, this is basically a background that is just half full and the rest is transparent. And I really like how this line looks over here. I will link in the description of this video also uh, a link to this pack of backgrounds. The next tip is unless you are going to use very wide databases, don't use full width because you will have a lot of space in the right otherwise. So here we can see a page that I'm using to jot notes of one online community that I'm part of. Everything is very compact and why? Because I'm not using databases, so it's just images and text. If I put this in full width, the images will be so big, the text like this is much harder to read. So it's a very big difference and I always keep it normal width. But what if within one same page we have very wide databases and some narrow ones? So then we can create an empty column. What do you mean by this? Here in my office hours page from the Notion Academy course, we can see that one database is quite wide, but this one is very narrow. So what I have created here is an empty column to avoid having all these lines go to the end of the page because if I delete this, you can see that this is quite ugly, but like this is much more beautiful. The next one, again, trying to be minimalistic, is to use the default background within the callouts. This is funny because whenever you create a callout, this is not the default background, even though they call it default background. So whenever we create a callout, this is how we see it. But if we go here, select color and select default background, now we have a very minimalistic box without any filling inside. And I think this is much more aesthetic. Next one is to use L-shaped databases. And what do I mean by this? Here we are back to the focus page and I don't know if you noticed before, but here I have a combination of a title and then a database. And then here a title and then a database. I could have put this title on top of the database, but I don't like how it looks whenever I have text over here and then some text over here, you can see. For me, it's not very beautiful. So like this, I'm creating an L between the title and the database. And if you have enough space, because the database is not very wide, you can even add another two columns for another database that you may want to use. And we have reached the last tip of this video, which, as I said before, is a little bit hacky and maybe a bit of an overkill. But probably you have realized that this notion that I'm showing you doesn't look like the notion that you are seeing on your screen, right? And this is because I'm using a third-party extension called Notion Enhancer. 
And what did extension is allowing me to do is to apply themes to my Notion. And then within the configuration files, I can select the colors for each of the things that we can see in our Notion. Let me show you. Here I have the extension Notion Enhancer that looks like this. Here we have a lot of different options, but one of them is the themes. And I'm particularly using this dark plus theme. But then if we go within the files of the Notion Enhancer, this is the path in which this was installed, by the way, if you want to copy it. Here we can find the variables CSS. And if we open it with the text edit app, here we can select which is going to be the color for almost everything within Notion. By the way, the colors are in hexadecimal, so you will have to Google the exact color that you want to use and get the hexadecimal code. And then you will just paste it here, save the file, and the next time that you're going to open Notion, these colors will have changed. If you want your Notion to look like mine and you are interested, tell me in the comments and I can upload this CSS file to the description of the video so we can have the same look in Notions. I will also leave a link in the description for this Notion Enhancer, by the way. It works with Windows, Mac and Linux, so I'm sure it will work for you. Oh, and by the way, I recently posted my Star Here page, this Daniel HQ page in Reddit, and it got so many likes. So I think a lot of people liked it. So I'm gonna leave here a link to the video in which I walk you through the whole page and how I built it. I think it may be very interesting for you. So that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.